Hello everybody. Today we are taking a look at two Jurassic World Dominion Lego sets. Very special. Today we are looking at just a random red stud. We are looking at T-Rex and Atrociraptor Breakout and Atrociraptor Bike Chase. Two amazing sets. They can connect. I will show that towards the end of the video. So, they're very nice sets. The T-Rex and Atrociraptor Dinosaur Breakout retails for 80 US dollars. And Atrociraptor Bike Chase, I believe, is 20 US dollars. I feel like it should definitely be more expensive. But it is a great deal for what you're getting. It looks small, but it has great belief features. And then this is the T-Rex and Atrociraptor Breakout right here. It's very nice. So... First, we're going to be taking a look at the minifigures. Start off with Rain. I love this minifigure. I think they did a great job with them. Let's move it over here. Got some nice front printing, and then, of course, the torso. He has two faces, of course. And then they have a dinosaur tattoo, which is very nice. On the other side of their face. If you look to focus on that, please. No, don't even look at any of that. Focus. There we go. Then we have Soyona, or Soyona, however it's pronounced. Some nice front printing, of course, the torso, back printing, and then two faces. And then, I'm not really going to go too into detail about Owen. He has the same outfit in every set. Still a great figure. Then, of course, we have Claire. I think we've seen this on her before. I think it was in some of the... Lego Jurassic World shows. And then the Atrociraptor Dinosaur Bike Chase. Actually, I'll get to that later. So there are the minifigures. Um, Rain and Owen both came twice, so they're over on my shelf. Rain and Owen also came in this set. That's all that came in that set, beside another Atrociraptor, of course. But first, we're going to be taking a look at... No, don't take this whole thing with you. We're going to take a look at the T-Rex and Atrociraptor Dinosaur Breakout. Very nice set. I think it's a bit overpriced, but then again, it does come with two dinosaurs. Atrociraptor Red. Very nice. They did sacrifice... So this is only with the Dominion sets. They sacrificed... Like, all the arm movement and leg movement and head movement, you can only open the jaw. But it really reduced the size. I'm completely okay with that. I'm actually very glad that they did that. But it has some great printing. It's custom. But I love these. I think they are amazing. So that is Atrociraptor Red. And then here's a T-Rex. I do not believe this one is actually Rexy. Same as Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World. They each have their own print. I don't think they have the same pattern. No, completely different. I don't have the Fallen Kingdom one. I actually missed out on that. I got the Lockwood Estate, though. So that was awesome. It's got all the same stuff. 360 degrees on the head. 360 on the legs, arms. Tail, nice pattern on top. I really love this. Very nice. We're going to get into the actual set now. On top, you have a little spider. It's very cute. We've got a flag up top. Move it back. We've got a flag. You can position that however you want. We've got two lanterns. Towards the front. 
in this little area here, you've got eggs, a little skeleton, and I believe amber. Very nice. And then, there's really not much to the back. I didn't use all the stickers. There are more stickers. I just didn't use all of them. Here's the back. Not much going on here. We can have the T-Rex sit in here. Actually, before we get into that, I guess I should show you this. This also comes with the set. It is a very nice truck. Probably one of my favorite ones. Um, this comes off very easily. You will not have a problem getting that off. Here's the back. Side. Front. And then this opens up right here. You can easily fit one minifigure in there. Here's the top. It just comes right off with the glass. I really like that. But that stays on there very nicely. And I'll take a look at this now. This is where you can actually hose, house two Atrociraptors. This little board slides right out. You can place one. Right, you see those? There's two studs. You can place one right there. And then the other one actually has to face the other way, but at the end of the video, you can skip there if you want, but I recommend you watch the whole thing. I will show you a way to have both of them facing the same way. I'm sure you could figure it out on your own, but I just think it's convenient. This is nice. It just slides right in along with the Atrociraptor. You just put them right in there. Very nice. Stickers right there. There's also one there. Here's the top, the side, the other side. The back does not open, and the bottom. You can just, so here's what that looks like. You just stick it on to these two and do that. Right there, and boom. It drives very smooth, I love it. And you can actually have it pull right through here. It's very nice. Now we will get into T-Rex part. You can have them stand right there. And there's multiple play features to this. It is amazing. First of all, this is very flimsy. I love it. So if you want to have the T-Rex break out, bam, right there. That comes off very easily. So does this. Oh, love it. This comes off very easily. It's a little gate. You got some stickers on top. You've got the sides. Those both come off. There's one on the inside as well that can easily come off. And then the very back one that comes off. They're all very easy to attach. And of course, you know, <laughs> destroy. You have to fall. And I believe, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think it came with a replacement or an extra piece if you just want them to sit there instead of have it as a play feature. This is very nice overall. This egg comes off very nice. I love that they keep giving us eggs. I think it's amazing. And it just attaches right back on there. It is amazing. But yeah, this is definitely one of the coolest Dominion sets, especially when combined with the smaller one. So, we're actually going to move these out of the way for now. Be fun. I forgot to mention, this is on there pretty well. It's only going to fall if you hold it by itself. So, let's put that off to the side. Now we're going to bring this in. This is the smaller set. So, it also comes with these two baby dinosaurs, I'm not sure. They have the same print as the baby Velociraptor, They're custom on the back. I wish it would stop focusing on that. Either. Very nice. So, let's get into the set. 
this right here can come off. It's just attached by that right there. It is a nice little holding area for one of your baby dinosaurs. It provides some shade and it has little amber pieces that are still attached to the rock. You can just put them right back in there. Attach them, leave them. I like mine attached. So it doesn't use up as much space. You have this. I will get to this when we combine the two sets. And right here, you can just stick one of these little guys on there and it spins. There's a gear in the back that allows it to spin. You know, it's like a little dinosaur fighting line. That's what I think it is. There's also two play features on this one as well. And then of course it comes with Owen's bike. We've seen this in many other sets. I love it still though. Spin it around. Got a lamp. I think that's where it is. A lantern. Got a play feature here. This comes off. It's a little bit harder to come off on the other ones. This one, you can break that down. Nice play features. I would love, if you're trying to put them up on a shelf, I might, what I might do is I might take some clear tape, have like the T-Rex break through here, and like tape this to the top of his head as you're breaking it, or she, we don't know at the time. Being, so that's what you got for this one, and of course, a choice raptor ghost. I believe this might be the alpha of the pack. Very nice. It's a different pattern than the other one. It's very nice. Once again, no armor leg movement. I still love it though. Rubber tail. I really like that. And most of the upper part is rubber. Which is very nice. Very nice figures. So, now what we are going to do is combine the two sets. So let's review here. Let's move the truck over here. Let's grab this stuff. So, you can see right here, it's got one of those. I forgot what they're called. It's got a U right here. You just slide them on here. Just like that. So, if you were wanting to buy both of these, you're looking at about 100 US dollars. I think for Canadian, I believe it's like 110. I don't know, because I'm in the US, so I bought it here. But this is a great set, or sets. There are great play features, and everything about it is great. And now, oh yeah, this as well. Heidi, hush! Comes with a little skeleton. Then you take this from the smaller set. You attach it here. I believe it is a Stegoceratops. From Jurassic World Evolution 1 and Jurassic World the game. I believe it was an Evolution 1 at least. But it's just a nice little thing to come together. It's very cute. This is all one piece. All this is all one piece. I've never seen that piece before. I think it is all very amazing though. So now I'm going to show you how to have both your trust raptors facing the way. So you start off with this. I recommend that you have a Lego remover or a piece remover. I don't remember. Move everything on the right side, basically, or whichever side you would want to change. It might not look as good. If you've got some extra parts, you can definitely fix it up. I'm not going to use any right now. I will use some extra pieces from the set. Some of these little grills.
mark that you're looking at now is this. You're going to want to take one of these blue one studs. Bam. Another one. Right there. And then, bam, that's all you have to do. You can arrange it however you want. Make it look nicer. Like I said, I have some extra pieces from the set to make it look a little bit nicer. You can grab another one right there. But I don't really ever see this. You can now have both of them facing the same way. And yes, crap, did I do it wrong? Did I do it wrong? Nope, I did it right. Just, they're very close now, but I think it looks a lot nicer than one facing backwards. You have an extra piece right here. I recommend just taking it because you really don't want to lose it. Especially if you're looking to sell it or put it on a shelf. I just recommend take it to the top and just put it right there. It looks nice and it's a great way to not lose it. So yeah, now when you take your Trish Raptors out, you can have both of them facing that way. And it looks very nice. You've got the motorcycle, of course. Very nice. I love the new tranquilizer darts. I know they're not actually new, but I love how they're not green. I think that is very nice. So I think that might actually wrap up this episode. It was very fun to build all of this. I had a great time doing it. I'm pretty sure we used most more pieces on this truck than we did the actual building right here. This one actually weighs more than this thing right here. So you saw earlier how I had to hold it when I drove the truck through. Now I believe with the extra weight of the second set, I still gotta hold it a little bit. You can just drive it through pretty flawlessly. Bam. That's all there is to it. Amazing set. I loved this one. I'd have to give it a 9 out of 10. The only way it could be better is if there's more to this first set. Because for $80, that's an expensive Lego. I think it's because you got an Atrociraptor and also a T-Rex as well. It's still a great set, though. When you combine these together, I'd have to give it a 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed building them. And I'll catch you later for the next review. I believe next I will either do the Quetzalcoatlus, Quetzalcoatlus, however you pronounce it, or the Triceratops Ambush. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.